So the big complaint here is water sits between the sidewalk and the curb. And you can see the water where it stands here at the curb. Can you see that? So there's, you know there's a low spot right there. But the complaint is that the water stays right here where we're walking. And you can actually see tire tracks. You see that? That's just from the lawn tractor that comes through here and maintains the area. Look at all the debris that comes out of the yard and it just, it goes nowhere. This is the hardest problem to solve in any drainage situation. Problem two is, you can kind of see it, the, this, this yard's full of water. See how brown the grass is? That's not from drought, that's from too much water. And over here, we've got a downspout in the corner and you can see the pop-up. It blew that off and here's the drain right here. And you can see it just, there's, this all floods completely. This is pretty simple to fix. We just need to extend this on out, either go under the walk or to the walk. But remember, this area between the walk and the street holds so much water and that's the number one complaint. I'm just gonna walk around so you can kind of see it. Let's go out here at the street. So a lot of companies come out and they say, well, we'll put a French drain in here. Okay, question. French drain starts 18 inches deep. Where would they discharge it? There's no place for that water to go. Other people say, well, we can just put a drywall in here. That comes from civil engineers. It's so funny because if you dig a hole here, you're gonna hit water. Groundwater is so high that there's no way you're gonna discharge that into another gravel system. So the other problem is that this is on a low spot of the street. Can you see all that water just sitting in the gutter? That creates another problem. So one really simple fix is to actually cut the curb and allow some of that water to just drain out. And what we propose is, here on these expansions, we make a small V cut. Just a little small cut, about an inch wide, and that allows that water that's trapped to flow out and into this curb. Again, this is a low spot, you can see. Holds water, it just rained not too long ago. Actually, it rained yesterday. This is water from yesterday. Small V cuts allows that water from this area to drain out another V cut on every expansion. Let's that water come right out to the street. So again, I say this is a difficult problem to solve, and yet I gave you a very simple solution. Remember that those little V cuts, they are going to allow this area to drain, but it's not the same as a big four inch pipe or you know French drain and those kind of things. We can't put French drain in here because this is, where are we gonna send it? It goes that starts 18 inches deep. Where would you discharge that? You've seen us make V cuts in this type of a curb so many times. And that's for the big four inch pipe, but we can make a smaller cut and allow that water to escape. Right now it has no place to go, none at all. And you can see that just the whole thing holds water. The final thing that contributes to this problem is the roof. There's a great deal of roof here. On these Florida homes, they're huge and they catch so much water. All of that water travels down and there is no downspout drain. So it goes straight across the yard and it just ends up by the sidewalk. It does move under the walk, but it gets trapped between the walk and the curb. So in order to do this, the, the homeowner customer has to get permission from the HOA to cut that curb. So this is my sixth estimate today. This one is a time and travel. We are actually in Melbourne. It's about an hour from uh, Orlando, very close to the ocean. We've got one more to do, might as well get to it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. We all know the price of fuel is up, but look at that. I just had to fill up the tank, $113.